And now, young gentlemen, we are to assist at a very interesting experiment. Dr. Horace Wells of Hartford, Connecticut, and his assistant are about to demonstrate the Wells method of painless extraction on your fellow student, Homer Quinby, who has volunteered to be the subject. Are we nearly ready? Yes, sir. That'll be enough. Then if you'll kindly step up here, Homer. Yes, sir, Dr. Warren. Don't let them give you too much of it. No, sir, Professor Jackson. <laughs> sit right here, Homer. Now, this isn't going to hurt you a bit, Homer. <clears throat> you just sit back. Well, don't you give me too much of that stuff. Don't you worry about that. Uh, I think we're just about ready. Now, open your mouth, please. Oh. <laughs> now, breathe deeply. Keep on breathing, Homer. Keep on breathing. Yeah. Once more. <laughs> it's all very funny, but they have to kill it. Uh, now behave yourself, Homer. Homer, behave yourself. Uh, uh, uh. Open your mouth and breathe deeply. <laughs> what are you trying to do? Kill that boy? I know what I'm doing. Maybe he's had enough, Doctor. Yes. Okay. All right. Hold his head, please. because he didn't get enough of it. I wanted to give him more until that old mealy mouth. I tell you, this is the greatest discovery in the world. I'm the father of painless dentistry. I can extract teeth or pull them or do anything I want. Take it I... easy, take it easy. Maybe all you say, but you've still got to experiment. You've got to try it out little by little. You've got to creep before you can walk. I tell you, I've done it four times without a failure. All right, I'll mix up some of this stuff. Go get me a cat or a dog or a horse or a lion and I'll show you. I'll get you a rabbit. You'll learn something. I'll be very glad to, Horace. Believe me. 